Let me get you a cup. All right. Sorry, we're running a little late. So give me just a second. I'm going to move some colors over here. And then I gotta grab my laptop so I can see you guys. I don't want to have gloves. If I even have gloves, do I not have gloves? <laughs> not that you use them, anyways. But great to know. All right, good job. I will grab some more in a second. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Once again, sorry for running a little late. Give me just a second, you guys, to get this pulled up on my computer. As you tune in, say hi in the chat box. Let me know where you're watching from. And we are just going to do a really simple acrylic pour. It's not going to be a long project tonight. Uh, I just got back from Florida yesterday, so I'm pretty <laughs> exhausted. But yeah, okay. There we are. Hey, Tina, long time no see. All right, <laughs> watching from the living room, excellent. So this is a, uh, actually it's a 12 by 24 inch canvas. So basically two 12 by 12s. So you're mm. gonna wanna fill up the whole cup with, yeah, I can do that. I know you can, It'd be hard for you not to. Uh, so you can go ahead and get started. I'm gonna show you guys I have some new kind of fall themed colors in the mystery paint boxes. So I'm going to show you guys some of them up close. All right. So we've got gravy, cornucopia shimmer, strawberry sorbet, beer cheese. Um, another one in here is this one. Mako Shimmer, really pretty. Sierra, you'll probably want to use that one. It's really nice. Yeah, so those are some new colors, uh, most of which just came out today. Yeah, it's Thanksgiving, yo. I'm gonna use them all tonight and you are going to be like, oh, it actually does work. Hmm. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. <laughs> and I apologize for the Kind of mess behind here. I left in a hurry. I don't know if you guys remember, I was doing my live video last, I was doing a live video somewhere last week before I literally like ran out the door. <laughs> so there's just, I have more whites here. Bear. I'll go. Okay. If you need it. All right. So we're going to do like a joint flip cup. Was it on YouTube? It was a live YouTube. Oh, because I knew I wasn't. No. The one right before I ran out the door was Amazon. I think it was a live Amazon. I'm pretty sure. All right. So this is, that's white. Let's get some gravy in here. Yum, yum. <laughs> You want some gravy? You want some gravy. Let's get some beer cheese. Heck yeah. Um, we'll do some Inferno Orange. Thank you. Um, this one needs to be shaky. I'm gonna do some Tiger Orange. Oh yes. So Veronica's got the link to the mystery box there. And we have to fill up the whole cup. Okay. I'm gonna do some primary red. And then I absolutely need Merlot. This is almost empty, by the way. Yeah, I need my Merlot. I have more purple too, by the way. Merlot and purple. Uh, the color is called gravy. What's it called? Let me see. Yeah, it's just called gravy. <laughs> I mean, my husband's the one that named them. So any issues, take it up with him. 
All right, I'm gonna add some more white. And I definitely want some purple. And I think Sierra's just using all the colors, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And this is a gallery wrapped canvas, so I really hope we get something super pretty. I'm going pretty much earthy tones here. Mm. 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 So serious. Yeah. Okay. So after royal purple, I'm going with some strawberry sorbet, which is kind of a earthy pink, I guess. Like a blush pink. Not a color I personally would typically use. And then I didn't get any of this cornucopia shimmer in there. So I'm gonna get some of that. This color I am definitely uncertain on, but who knows? It could work. Thanks. <laughs> um, I also wanted to use look at head down here somewhere, I think. Some chocolate magic. Because that would go really well here. Yeah, some chocolate magic. You want some chocolate magic? Um, sure. We'll see, we'll see. Um, Benet, you know what? If you want champagne, I can get you champagne. Um, champagne's one I like to bring back typically around New Year's, so I think we're close enough. I can definitely say if you order a mystery box and you put champagne in the notes, I will put champagne in your box. And Johnny's here to take note. Oh yeah, if you have any complaints about the names, he's right here. <laughs> uh, this is going to be a double flip cup, so pretty exciting. All right, I'm gonna get a little more pink in here. After you use that one, I'll use that. That's Razzle Dazzle. Give them your Razzle Dazzle. All right, there you go. What you need? Mm-hmm, yep, so this is Everglade, and this is um, the, also Everglade. Complaints will be referred to my secretary, Sierra. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got pink in there. Uh, can you pass me just the rest? Mm -hmm. Yeah, seems, seems pretty good. Seems reasonable. <laughs> oh, I'm, oh, I'm being I'm silly. Um, you didn't shake it. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. That's okay. Copper too. Oh yeah, give me that. Yeah, give me some copper. Yellow. Well, Sierra's definitely got yellow. I could put some in there. I put a little yellow earlier on, but I'll put some of the golden sun in here. Why not? And then I'll top mine off with just a smidge more of white. I have a whole big roll of purple here, by the way. Oh. You want more? Yeah. Yeah, you need more purple. Uh, I also would advise putting a little more white in yours because it's already mm. got. It's really dark. Just as a note, which here's some more white. Okay. Hey, Tara. <laughs> and yeah, I think I'm out of gloves. So, Johnny, take note. I need gloves. <laughs> ah, life on the road. Crazy, crazy. All right, after we're done filling up our cups, I will point the camera down a bit more because we're gonna move this canvas out and I may zoom in a little, but I don't know. Yeah, this doesn't look half bad. So use the wild colors in there. What color is that? Um, Pacific blue? Yeah. I probably have a bigger one of that, let me see. This deep sea. Uh, I got a lot of deep sea. Want some deep sea? Mm -mm. Okay. I use a lot of blue, so. You done? Uh, can I just have some Pacific blue? I don't know that I have more, baby. I don't see it. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm out of this guy. Okay, then. Yeah, I don't see more Pacific blue. Deep sea is the closest I got. Uh, sure. Let's try that one. Okay. Deep sea is just a very slightly 
darker Pacific blue, basically. Hey guys, <laughs> I'm gonna start moving these out of the way. So guys, go grab your mystery boxes while the colors last. And make something awesome. Okay, so are we ready? Not yet, I gotta move all these out of the way. Okay. And then we'll be ready, pretty much. Do not flip that yet. <laughs> Any green? Uh, Sierra got green in hers. I did not put green in mine because it doesn't really go with the colors that I used. It would clash in a weird way. All right, so I'm gonna wanna move the canvas a little bit out here so we don't get it all over ourselves. And let me adjust the camera just a little bit. So camera's gonna shake. Everybody close your eyes for a second. You wanna move it in and down. Hopefully not show you too much of my mess in the background. <laughs> okay, I think that's okay. Okay, so this isn't your normal flip cup because the canvas is kind of big and there's two of us. So you yeah. remember how to flip it? Um, just... <laughs> nope. No. You gotta be fast. Oh. You think you can do it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. There you go. You got it. All right, let's move it a little more to the B center. Worry about there's good. And then pull it up however you want. Ooh. You know what looks really pretty together is brown and pink. I always forget that, but they look really pretty together. And then the purple in here. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. Okay. Do we want to tilt together? You want to tilt by yourself? Um, just gonna start tilting probably. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, together. I can't. I couldn't pick it up. <laughs> I will just kind of guide and support over here. Yes. It's heavy painting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think yours turned out better. I don't know. I kind of think yours turned out better, but we'll see. I think they go well together, which is what matters. Uh, the pink that I used, I used two. One, I used uh, some of the Razzle Dazzle, which is the usual color. And then I used Strawberry okay, Sorbet. Strawberry Sorbet, which is one of the um, limited edition colors in the mystery box. So, um, yeah, they're under the table. Yeah. So this is definitely, and you guys saw how many colors we used, about 7 million. And not bad at all. I'm going to bring it back this way a bit. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah. I know, right? We done pretty good. <laughs> Even with seven million colors. <laughs> um, Did you see that bright yellow kind of gold thing? Okay. Yeah, the gold really shows. The uh, golden sun is quite the cell creator. So I'm going to bring you guys in for a close up in just a second. Um, this part over here through the camera, I feel like it looks pretty white, but it's actually like a light pink and it's really pretty. All right, let me wipe my hands off real quick so I don't get too much paint on my phone. I'm also going to raise this up real quick, actually. And then we'll do our close up, okay? So now is a good time if anybody has any questions. Also, I really, really, really want to remind you guys, next week is Fluid Art Experience in Dallas. And I know a lot of you are thinking, man, I wish I could go, but I just can't. If there is any humanly possible way for you to make it, like just beg, borrow, steal, whatever, I would really, really, really recommend it. It's kind of a once in a lifetime experience and 
Um, if you're taking my classes, which are on the business of art, and you really think of it as a business expense, like a class ticket is $350. Um, you could literally sell one painting for $350 and make that back. You know what I mean? A one student, I want to tell you because it's a really awesome success story. One student that I taught how to build his Facebook page and I was kind of using him as a guinea pig. He took, I think, about two months to get his Facebook page to 10,000 fans. And in the first, and then he monetized it within one more month, I think it was. And within his first month of being monetized, he made like something like $7,000, I think it was. So imagine spending $350. Of course, yes, you have hotel and stuff like that. Let's even say you spend $1,000, okay? And then within your first few months, you make 7,000. And that's just the first month. He's going to continue to make that every single month and then some, you know what I mean? So yes, it's a big expense, but it's also totally worth it if you really take what is taught and apply it. All right, so I'm just gonna do the close up and then we'll, we'll head out of here. Let me just get my corners. I missed a few spots over here. So yes, fluidartexperience.com, totally worth it. Um, and you will be able to ask me in person anything and everything. So great group of people. You'll get to meet other artists, other teachers, make lifetime friends, lifelong friends, you know. Okay, camera's going to shake. Close your eyes for a second. Hopefully I don't show you my feet. All right, we used a ton of metallics. We also shook the bottles right before using because I hadn't used them in like a week or more. So we got lots of cells in here. This is pretty awesome. We used several that are really cell creator colors. Like the Golden Sun is a crazy cell creator. Chocolate Magic. Um, this is just a really fun piece. And here's this over here. You still can't really see it very well through the camera, but it's like a light pink. So super pretty. And this is really, I like this. What's your favorite part, Sierra? Uh, I don't really have a favorite part. No? I think, I think this is my favorite. But also this is pretty cool over here, this area. I don't know, I like the purple part. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. All right. For some reason comments aren't showing up actually on my phone. So one second, y'all. Let's just put this back. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Tara, you should go paint something. All right, good. Does anyone have any last minute questions before we end off? Any questions about fluid art experience? Any questions about the paints? Any questions about um, my cats? Yeah, who knows? How are they doing? They're amazing. Other than my kitten keeps trying to destroy my house, but it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So that's all we got for today. Um, if you didn't see it earlier, also check out the video I posted. Oh, I missed a question here. How many days do you have to wait before you can put a top coat on it? I recommend waiting a couple weeks, uh, but that kind of depends on your temperature, your humidity of where you are. It's very hot and dry here. If it's colder, you might want to wait a little bit longer. Um, if it's pretty hot and dry, you might want to wait even shorter. I've uh, put top coats on it within a week and it's been totally fine. You know what I mean? And then um, do, we, do you have a dog? I don't, but we wish to get one very soon. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so for now we have two cats. They're a little, uh, tiny bit easier to manage. I'd say that, but they really destroy my house. <laughs> okay. So thank you all so much for joining me. Have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll see some of you in Dallas next week. I really can't wait. One other thing about Dallas, it's my first vendor event. 
So Johnny will be there and we will be selling all of the mixed media girl art supplies. There's going to be giveaways. There's going to be so much fun. So I really hope to see as many of you there as possible. All right. Bye guys.